get ready for the dictation dictation will start in 5 seconds start when the house rose last evening i was in the midst of an argument concerning the propriety of exempting government companies from the provisions of company law i wish to make it clear that where government owns 100% of the shares in a company obviously many of the rules applicable to ordinary companies cannot be applied indeed the well known authority on modern company law summarized the position thus it will be appreciated that the absence of shares and shareholders automatically renders large and important branches of company law totally inapplicable rules relating to the raising and maintenance of share capital the control of directors by members protection of minority shareholders company meetings and the like can have no relevance as we have said earlier the knotty problem of the relationship between the management and the members is solved by the evolution of the later but the approach of our joint committee to this problem is difficult to appreciate government companies are put in a peculiarly privileged position last night i happened to peruse the minutes of the 14th meeting of the joint committee which considered this question the recommendations submitted by the finance ministry miss the point there have been exemptions suggested for certain types of companies but i do not think that any purpose will be served by having any of the government companies other than those in which government has 100% shares brought within the purview of the exemption clause at all we have to wear in mind that a government company in which 51% of the shares are held by the government is not a company which is the exclusive property of the government it is one in which the government has a technical majority holding of the shares and in theory the government according to the provisions of the will is given powers to revoke all the safeguards 
provided in the company's will let me read out briefly the particular section which covers these exemptions i want to ask only a few questions of those who have taken a prominent part in the deliberations of the joint committee what is it that you seek to achieve by granting such as exemption the government can if it deems necessary cheerfully decide one fine morning to exceed the overall limit of managerial remuneration laid down in clause 190 full stop 